Hello, Randall Monk here and Rana Vazane coming to you with another Gem of Wisdom from Archangel Michael. Hello, you all out there. <laughs> and this one is about the violet flame. And it, it also comes from, let's see, this one comes from no, no, uh, December 2018 message, December 2018. Remember to use the power of the violet flame of transformation. Use this magic elixir often to assist in the transmutation of negative imbalanced vib vibrational patterns. Imbalanced vibrational patterns. Michael has told us many times, but I will reiterate it again, that the violet flame consists of the beautiful iridescent blue of the Father, the linear analytical mental outward focused energy of the Father, and the beautiful luminescent pink of the Divine Mother, the nurturing, the love, the compassion, of the creativity, the inward focused energy. And within that center then is that cosmic incubator, which is a brilliant gold. And those are the seed thoughts that the mother, that the father sends forth. They're programmed, the divine blueprint. And the divine mother uh, activates them with her loving energy. And this becomes the solar sons, the sons and daughters, the paradise sons and daughters that then come forth. And that is the beginning of creation. That creates that violet flame. We have that violet flame, that threefold flame, blazing within us once we, I mean, it's there very dim, but as we open our sacred heart, it begins to pulsate. And it is more important than ever now because this is, in the Aquarian age, the violet flame, the seventh ray, is the predominant ray. And why is that? It is because we have gone to the furthest point, furthermost point of dissension, and there is so much to be cleared. And so the violet flame is the transmuting power of the divine parents that is going to balance and harmonize that. But we have to bring it through us and use it. And so it is the only ray that comes up from those great crystalline structures, those great sentinel crystals within the earth and blazes up and you can get it from your feet and blaze up around you. And it also comes down within that seventh ray. And, and, and their envision a galaxy, an amethyst, the, the ameth amethyst creator temple that is now a flaming bright because it is radiating more and more of that where the predominant ray has the most power. The first ray of divine will and power is secondary. And that has changed from, the, it was the ex exoteric or the material plane color was red and the exoteric was blue. Well, it's now a magenta. It's now kind of the magenta color. And so that's secondary because after we begin to clear, harmonize and balance and bring back to neutral or bring back to uh, uh, into harmony all of that energy we've created, then we're ready for new creation. So you see the divine blueprint is perfect. And so our place in it is Use that energy. Yes, bring in the five higher rays. Bring in the violet flame you can radiate to anyone. As we've said before, you can send the beautiful pink iridescent ray of the Divine Mother, and you can send the violet flame. If they are not ready to accept it, there are angels of mercy around them that will hold that energy for them until they open their heart to receive it, because we cannot infringe upon their free will. But you see the tools we have. And so... I, yes, I bring in an in infinity breath, and I bring in in all ways. But I, uh, in uh, my in my bedroom, my my comforter, uh, my sheets are purple. Uh, I have I have a beautiful deep purple bedspread. I want to feel that I'm wrapped up in that violet flame, and it's just a symbol for me. But it is, it will help surround you within your sphere of light, and so as you bring that through, and it, it radiates into, through, down into the earth, and then you radiate it out to the earth. We, when we bring in the five higher rays, we just breathe in light and we breathe out love. We do not focus on those, but the beautiful violet flame you can see. See that violet flame. Fill your sphere of light with it. Make it a part of your daily ritual, because it is so important. And as you, as we bring it in, we're assisting others. 
because it will go off from us, as we say, in those concentric circles. And if their heart is open, if, if they are ready to receive it overall, all of our loved ones, uh, I, Michael said, you are, to, you are to bless all humanity and all creation. And I said, can I spend special love to my family and to my soul family? He says, precious one, don't you understand? They're the ones that are the closest in your circle. You don't have to focus on them, they're there. And they get that first energy as you radiate it out. And then it goes out further and further and further to those around into the world. And so you are blessing your family. You are blessing those you love. You are blessing those that are closest to you. But we are also to bless and, and ask for the highest and greatest good for all humanity, the earth, and all creation. Thank you, Rana. I, w I want to briefly go over one method that uh, Michael taught us to use the violet flame, and that is when we're lying in bed at night <clears throat> before going to sleep, to call upon that violet flame to cleanse, clear, harmonize, balance, tr and transmute any cause, core, record, and me memory of any and all discordant energies that uh, we've transmitted and their actions this lifetime and any other lifetime, past, present, or future. Very and um, so that's the way to end the day by clearing any discordant energies out of our energy field. And uh, so we can start a new day when we wake up, uh, you know, with uh, no new karma, we uh, no negative karma. We uh, we have good that's, karma. Yes, and that's an important part of moving into a state of grace mm -hmm. to keep it all neutral. Yeah. If you, you know, whatever little glitches we created out there, we are balanced and harmonizing them mm -hmm. and, and returning to light. And so... That's a part of a very yeah. important part of the yeah. ascension process. Yeah. So good, good point, Randy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's it for this quote from Archangel Michael. This uh, quote, this uh, gem of wisdom, and we'll see you next time. Happy creating. We love you. Bye bye. Much love and many blessings from us to you.